If you clicked on this video, you might be looking for a mid-range mouse that can seamlessly connect to multiple devices. And you might also be the type to not want anything too flashy, something that you can buy and not worry about for several years. Well, here is the Logitech M720. This is a multi-device mouse from Logitech that costs just $50. I've had this for three years now, I've used it every day, and here's why I love this mouse. This mouse can instantly switch between three devices at the click of a button. So you can have a setup where all three channels are on Bluetooth, or you can have one where one of them is connected to this Logitech unifying device. And that's what I'm doing right now because I'm using this with a 2013 MacBook Pro and its Bluetooth has gotten pretty unreliable over time. Now conveniently, this unifying receiver is also connected to my keyboard, the Logitech K780. This keyboard pairs well both functionally and aesthetically with my M720 mouse. If you wanna see a quick review of that keyboard, wait until the end and click that end screen. Now let's talk about some unique features about this mouse. You're probably getting this because of its multi-device capabilities and it's super simple. You just press this button right here and then if you press and hold it, you'll see that it starts blinking. Then you pair it to a device and that's it. Then you just press that same button to cycle through the different channels that you have. It has two buttons on the side which is programmable as well. Now by default, this goes forward and back. You can actually download software to program this to whatever you like. Like for example, for Macs, it does take a few buttons to screenshot something. Maybe you wanna map that to that. It also has a gesture button on the side. So this side right here is actually clickable. And if you click it and drag your mouse either up, down, left, right, you can also program what that will do. Similar, I guess, to how you can swipe certain directions on your trackpad and it can do things like open up different windows, different screens and all that. It also has two scroll modes. Now by default, you can have it scroll like this where you sort of feel the different steps to it. Or if you press this middle button, you can scroll it like this and it has a freewheel mode. The scroll bar can also tilt left or right for horizontal scrolling. Now, personally, I don't think this is as effective as a horizontal scroll wheel like that of the MX Masters, but it can work in a pinch. Personally though, I still prefer just clicking and dragging left and right if I do want to do big horizontal scrolls like on a video editing timeline. Now, comfort in a mouse is super subjective, but for me, it fits my hand perfectly. I have average to below average hands, and so something as big as a Razer Death Adder, which I also have, is actually a bit too big for me. And so this one, as you can see, fits my hand just fine. This mouse has a solid weight to it, but it's not too heavy. And I pair it with a cheap Steel Series mouse pad. This mouse pad also has actually been with me for over five years now, and it's still working fine. Now let's talk about how it's aged over the past three years. But before that, a word from our sponsor, me. Like and subscribe. All right, we're back. So everything still works perfectly as if it was right out of the box. All of the clicks are still working fine. All of the different functions still work. It still pairs fine. It still switches devices fine. The only thing is that because the exterior here on the sides and the back is made up of this like rubbery plastic finish, it is starting to get a bit sticky, just like any device that has this type of coating on it. And you'll see that there's actually some, I don't know if it's air bubbles forming on the side, but there's definitely some strange like roughness on the exterior that's happening. Fortunately, the clickers themselves are made up of plastic and so it's not really making it feel weird. I am a bit worried that this mouse might not last another, say, three to five years because of this rubber exterior. It will degrade naturally and get sticky naturally over time. That's just what the material will do. But you know what? If you buy a mouse and it lasts you five to seven years and you only paid $50 for it, I think that's excellent value. And I've never really had a Logitech product fail me before. So overall, I'm still very, very happy with this mouse. I bought it brand new, which is not something I do a lot of nowadays, but I still don't regret it because it's still working great for me. I think it's a good alternative for those who don't want to splurge on an MX Master or for those who actually might find the MX Master's size itself a bit too big. Nowadays, this just costs around $50 and I will leave a link down below so that you can buy one. Now, if you do wanna see a review of the K780 keyboard that I use, I will leave a link right here. 